Hello, my name is Earl Teets. I'm the founder of the Service Team Missionary Outreach out at Troy, Montana. I'm all, we're responsible for bringing you the HomeBusinessHelper.com, which is a platform that's designed to really help you achieve in the field of home business as far as internet marketing, network marketing, and affiliate marketing is concerned. It's the most lucrative market for earning money on the planet, and unfortunately, a lot of people are going broke just trying to learn the fundamentals of how to operate a home business that they have. So the HomeBusinessHelper.com is really just a solution that's a Christian-based marketing platform that allows you to understand the fundamentals of how to create the income that you're trying to create. So uh, with that being said, this video is really special today. Whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not, it's completely irrelevant. He was the most followed leader in all of the history of the planet. So if you look at history and recognize the fact that success leaves clues, we're going to look at the historic success clues that was left behind by this great leader of all time by the name of Jesus Christ. So the title of this video and training is the Jesus Christ secret and uh, it's not Obamacare it really has some facts to it that will help you with life folks so I have my glasses on because I'm gonna be reading to you out of my Bible and I really can't read the words in that thing without these glasses on so you'll have to forgive me but we're gonna talk to you about three points that Jesus illustrated and we're gonna use scripture because I believe the truth will set you free when you apply it to your life so uh, I need you to forgive me if you feel offended by this subject. Uh, the idea isn't to offend anybody. The idea is to show you the truth. And the truth will set you free. So what I need is your permission to be straight and forward with you. And you'll really be glad I did. So first off, we're going to look at the first thing. Jesus taught Matthew 6:33 to seek first the kingdom of God. And basically, when you look at what that says, if God is being seeked first, everything else will work out in your life the way it needs to. But you got to ask yourself that question in an honest fashion. Okay? So let's take a look at some facts here. It's a fact in America today. The average person spends 80% of their time or better on their income production is your income production. Because remember, the Bible doesn't say that money is evil. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. So are you serving money or is money serving you? 80% of your time to your income production, is that in sequence with God's kingdom? Is what you're doing to produce the money, seeking God, is it in sequence with God's kingdom? If the answer to that question is yes, there's a lot less stress in your life. Uh, another one you need to look at is will it bless others? If it's only directed to you and it can't bless somebody else, it's probably an action that's not in sequence with God's kingdom, which is going to produce ripples in the road to life and a little bit of stress, unease, and uncomfort. We don't want to go there. We kind of want to know where to stay to keep everything smooth. We're going to have challenges to overcome in life. That's part of life, no matter what we do. But uh, it's nice to be able to go through life and know that we're going to be secure regardless of what's going on around us. And when God's first, that's exactly what kind of position we're in in life. Uh, let's take a look again. We're going to turn in our Bibles to Matthew um, chapter 13. We're going to look at verse 23. This is Jesus explaining the parable of the sower. What we reap is what we sow in life. Some people call it karma. Uh, Einstein, I believe, call it uh, for every action there is an opposite equal reaction. So it's always been taught since the beginning of time. But look what Jesus says here. But he who receives seed on the good ground is he who hears the word, understands the word, and indeed bears fruit and produces some sixty, or excuse me, some one hundred fold, some sixty fold, and some thirty. So 
is what you're doing to create your income. Look at it like a, a seed you're planting in the ground. Does it have the ability to grow, sprout, and harvest, and multiply? And if it doesn't have that ability, ew, is it really where you want to go? It's going to make things a little rougher in life if it doesn't add up to that. Look at the action parts that Jesus is pointing out. He who hears the word, not just hear it, said, you see what the Bible said? You better do what it says or you're a bad person. It's he who hears the word, understands the word, and then shares it with others as it's applied to their life. Like I'm sharing the Jesus secret with you right now on this video. Produce more fruit, right? Okay, so he who hears, understands, and produces, what do they produce? They produce a harvest. A hundredfold, sixtyfold, thirtyfold. Really, it makes sense to seek first the kingdom of God. Let's turn in our Bibles to John chapter 14, verses 12 through 24. And this is where I really need your permission to be honest with you because we're going to touch some hard subjects here that might make some people frown. Okay? Look at John chapter 14, verses 12 through 14. Most assuredly I say to you, this is Jesus talking, He who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. And what's he promise? He promises in verse 16, I will pray to the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. So, we're not alone here, folks, and the questions that I'm really going to cover are important, okay? What was the first thing? He who believes. Do you believe? Do you believe the Word of God as much as you believe the events of the world? And when you believe the events of the world are more important to you than the Word of God, you're going to find yourself in a stressful position in life where nothing ever seems to work out right. There's always something missing, whether it be money, drugs, drugs booze, sex. It don't matter what it is. It's never enough, and there's always something missing if you don't believe. Do you believe that you can achieve? Do you believe that you have a solution that can help somebody else, and there's nothing to be ashamed with, getting paid for that solution. People like solutions. So, what's the purpose? Does your purpose glorify God? Is what you're doing to create the income to take care of your family an act that glorifies God? Because if it doesn't glorify God, it's going to make life a little more stressful. It'll be a little harder for you to be successful as an entrepreneur. Because as an entrepreneur, you're going to face challenges. When... Uh, those things come, it's kind of nice to have some security and foundation. So, let's take a look. Believe. We understand our purpose is to glorify God. we got to believe it's possible. And what are we going to believe in? Are we going to believe the Word? Or are we going to believe the world? Where is our major focus? On the Word or on the world? When it's on God's Word, things work synergistically to help us together. The question to ask yourself is, are you going to believe? Do you believe you can achieve? Do you believe the Word is the truth? You know, the more time you spend in the Bible, folks, the more you realize miracles really happen and they still happen today. And the more you see that happen, the more it becomes fathomable to your mind. In Luke chapter 4, verse 4, Jesus says, Man cannot live on bread alone, but on every word of God. Now he's saying this when he hasn't had nothing to eat for over 40 days. The devil's tempting him. Turn that rock into food. What does Jesus say? He wants you to understand that the word of God is just as important to your life as the very food you eat. 
And if you're walking through life stressed out, there's not a pill or a therapist or anything in the world that's going to really balance that out if the problem is there's no Word of God feeding the soul. Your soul is starving to death. Something's missing. You'll never find it until you first believe. What are you going to believe? The Word of God. When you believe the Word of God more than you believe the world, you're putting yourself in an excellent position. This is Christian marketing training. I hope you recognize the fact of the Jesus secret. I appreciate spending this little over 10 minutes teaching you the Jesus secret. Folks, please keep our nation's leaders in your prayers. And remember, is it in sequence with God's kingdom? And do you believe that all things are possible. You know, the first thing the angel Gabriel taught Mary when she found out she was pregnant at a virgin when it had never happened before was with God, all things are possible. Understand that more than anything because with God, all things are possible. And if you've never made that decision to accept Christ in your life, a simple prayer to repent Ask for forgiveness of your sins. Ask Jesus into your heart from this day forward. And he hears your prayers. And all the angels in heaven will shout and glorify at one sinner who gives their repentance to God. Realize your value to God. Realize he loves you. And realize that you can achieve anything you put your mind to as long as it's in sequence with God's kingdom. And it glorifies his purpose. That's the Jesus secret. Thank you for joining us on this short video. We hope this training has helped you. God bless you. Please keep our nation's leaders in your prayers. Look forward to meeting you in person, online, or over the phone.